Another destruction of lack of planning is that lack of planning inflicts pain in our hearts and it can, it can also inflict pain in other people's hearts. Hindi tayo nabubuhay para sa sarili lamang. Whatever we do, meron tayong pananagutan sa kapwa. Sa ating mga ginagawa, meron tayong napapasaya, meron tayong napapalungkot. Sa mga tagumpay natin, meron tayong binibigo. Sa ating mga possessions, meron tayong dinedeprive. We are a community. And the Lord said, whatever you do to the least of this, my brethren, you do it to me. Does our lack of planning unnecessarily hurt other people? Does our lack of planning inflict pain and disadvantage on others? Let's consider that, brothers and sisters. Meron tayong pananagutan sa isa't isa. Kung teacher ka, kulang ka sa planning, nadaya ang mga estudyante. Kung speaker ka, kulang ka sa preparation, nadaya lahat ang nakinig. Kung ano man ang iyong ministry, hindi mo ginawa, kulang ka sa plano, pag ganun-ganun na lang, dinadaya mo ang buong congregation. There is no harm that you can inflict on yourself that others will not be affected. Meron tayong pananagutan. Hindi tayo nabubuhay para sa sarili lamang. And of course, because of lack of planning, many people miss rewards. Yung mga the good things that they should have towards the end when the Lord judges us. We miss rewards because we squandered our time. We wasted our time. How can one plan? How do we plan? We should plan according to God's master plan. Because God is the real planner. God is the God of plans. And the Lord has a master plan for all of humanity. And the Lord has a specific plan for every human being. Of course, you may break that plan. That's why everything goes wrong. And the only way to succeed, and the only successful person, is he that lived according to God's plan. Because at the end of it, That is where success is. Ephesians 1 verse 11 In Him we were also chosen, having been predestined according to the plan of Him who works out everything in conformity with the purpose of His will. So, in Him we were chosen, in the Lord, having been predestined according to the plan of God, according to everything that the Lord has planned out, everything that he planned according to his will. A Christian has a predestiny. We do not believe that a person is predestined to be saved or not. But once saved, once you accept Jesus as Savior and Lord, your predestiny starts. The Lord called you unto salvation so that his predestined plan for you may start. And every human being has a predestined end. Except that many people refuse to be saved, they refuse Jesus Christ, so they do not cross the bridge after which the predestiny can start. God has a plan for you and for me. Kung wala ba siyang plano, at ito, lagi ko nang sinasabi at binabanggit ko na naman ngayon. Kung walang plano para sa atin ng Diyos, dapat nung kinanggap natin ang Panginoon bilang Savior and Lord, kinuha na tayo ng Lord. The Lord should have killed us. At nang dinala na niya tayo sa paradise. But why does the Lord allow us to go on living? Because He has a plan for us. And that plan must be fulfilled before we die. And the people that are successful and the people that are happy and the people that have joy and peace are those that are working according to the plan of God. And the people that are so magulo ang buhay, walang peace, everything goes wrong, nagkakanda sabog-sabog lahat, are those that are trying to make plans of their own and live outside of God's plan. The Lord has a plan for you. You are not an accident. Kaya dumarating mga araw na masaya tayo, ay we probably moved according to God's plan that day. Then may mga time na ang gulo-gulo. Then not according to our plan. Because while the Lord is our Lord, meron pa rin tayong will. Pwede pa rin tayong lumabas sa plan na yun, except that things go wrong. And in the end, susuko ka rin. Hindi mo pwedeng sabihin, after the end of my days, I will impose my plan on myself. Because everything will go wrong. And then one day you will surrender and say, Jesus is Lord. I better obey Him. Hindi ko pwedeng labanan. 
Pag ayaw ng Diyos, hindi pwedeng pilitin. Pag gusto ng Diyos, hindi pwedeng awatin. The wisest people live according to God's plan and not resist God's plan. Then everything moves as the Lord likes. Proverbs 21 verse 30 There is no wisdom, no insight, no plan that can succeed against the Lord. And you better remember that, Christian. No wisdom, no matter how wise you think you are, no insight, no plan can succeed against the Lord. Jesus is Lord. Whether you like it or not, and you better like it. Because He is not an oppressive Lord. Let's plan according to His plan. Isaiah 5 verse 19, Let the plan of the Holy One of Israel come. Let what He likes come. How do we know God's plan in our lives? As we have said, we have internal conviction. When we are prayerful and we are godly and we live according to God's statutes, it becomes clearer and clearer to us what the Lord wants to do. And then we move according to that and we have joy. I tell you this, no matter how successful you are, but if it's outside of God's plan, you will not have joy. Pwede kang umaman, pwede kang maging tanyag, pwede kang sumikat, pwede mo ma-enjoy ang sin on the pleasure level, pwede mo magawa ang gusto mong gawin, pero ang sasabihin ko sa'yo, hindi mo ito maikakaila, merong emptiness in your heart. Sapagkat inside every person's heart, there is a God-sized vacuum that only God can fill. And unless that is filled, you may have your hands full of everything in the world, but you will be empty. God's call is irrevocable. Nung tinawag ka na, sinagot mo na yung tawag na yon, wala nang bawian. At ang tao na nagkakanda bugbugbugbog, nagkakanda dapadapa, nagkakanda hirap-hirap, ay yung tumatalikod sa kasunduan nila ng Diyos. When you accepted Jesus as Lord, you accepted Him as Savior, you accepted Him as the master of your life. Unless you don't know what the word Lord means. Tumanggap ka na isang Panginoon, tumanggap ka ng Lord, ibinigay mo na sa Kanya ang kapangyarihan sa iyong buhay. At gumugulo yan tuwing gusto mong bawiin. So, sabi mo, Lord, akin na uli yung Lordship ng buhay ko. Ako na uli magpapaanda ng buhay ko. Gagawa ako ng mga bagay na gusto ko kahit ayaw mo. Gusto ko na uli ako yung maging Lord. That's when all troubles start. Remember, God's calls and God's gifts are irrevocable. Simplify your life. Avoid needless misery. Do not turn your back on God. You cannot succeed. And you will not succeed. God's call is irrevocable. Tinanggap mo, Panginoon, wala nang bawian. Hindi na ikaw ang Panginoon ng iyong buhay. Gumugulo pag pinipilit mo uling ikaw ang makapangyari. And so, people of God, let's plan. You plan for the day. You plan for the week. You plan for the month. You plan for the year. In fact, plan for the years. And in planning, you consider time, resources, effort and sacrifices, training and preparation that you have to do. And think also of the rewards. How else do we plan? Seek God's will in your life for you to see the master plan. Ask the Lord, Lord, what is your plan for my life? The Lord will answer you in a very private way. Sabi niya, ask, and it will be given you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it shall be opened to you. And the Lord does not make empty promises. Do it. Seek the Lord's will, and plan according to that will. How else do we minimize mistakes in planning? You've got to know God through the Bible so that we know how God thinks. And then we've got to pray a lot. And we have to seek godly counsel. Gahanap tayo ng payo ng mga taong makadiyos at malapit sa Diyos. And then, allow things to happen and fall into place. Sabi sa Isaiah 8.10, concerning people that are against God's plan, Devise your strategy, but it will be thwarted. Propose your plan, but it will not stand, for God is with us. Yan ang sabi ni Isaiah sa mga kalaban ng Diyos. Magplano kayo, mag-isip kayo, mag-strategize kayo. 
Pero walang mangyayari dyan. Hindi magtatagumpay at nagsasayang lang kayo ng oras. Micah 2 verse 1 Woe to those who plan in equity to those who plot evil in their beds. Kasi may mga roon ng Christian mahilig magplano. Naku, ang galing. Pero magplano ng mga kabuktutan. Ipaplano kung paano niya halimbawa i-embarrassin ang isang tao. Ipaplano kung paano siya magpapasikat. Ipaplano kung paano niya aagawan ng laruan yung isang bata. Ipaplano kung paano tayo magtatagumpay at the expense of others. In fact, yung mga nagiintriga, yung mga gumagawa ng mga wicked plans. Anong sabi ng Micah 2.1? Woe to those who plan iniquity, to those who plot evil on their beds. Sumpain ang mga yun. And of course, another way to seek God's will in our life is to avoid any step that clearly contradicts God's ways. Pag ang Panginoon daw ay nalulugod sa ating mga pamamaraan, ginagawa niya ang bawat hakbang natin ay tiyak, secure, safe, hindi nadudulas, hindi nadadapa. Christian, God is the master planner. Therefore, Christians are to plan. If Christ plans, therefore Christians must plan according to that master plan. Huwag natin i-misapply yung Matthew 6.34, yung sabing, Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be worrying about itself. Hindi sinabing do not plan about tomorrow, ang sinabi do not worry. Do not worry. So we make plans and don't worry. Lord, I will take it one step at a time, one day at a time, I will leave it in your hands. I don't worry. Bakit may plan? Akala nung iba, ang ibig sabihin nun, huwag na magplano yung kesera-sera, bahala na ang Diyos. No. Ang sinabi, do not worry. Huwag maging worrier. Huwag maging laging nangangamba. Saan kaya ako kukuha ng iluluto? Baka walang bawang sa December 6. Baka magka-short. Eh, paano na ako magdidisa? May mga tao ganun kalayo yung inaalala eh. Kaya tuloy hindi masaya. Be godly and God will take care of the rest. If we are resting in God's hands, He takes care of the details. God will take care of the future. You take care of godliness. If we take care of godliness, God takes care of us. And the Lord will never run out of His bounty. And the Lord will never run out of His love. Do you plan? Did you plan? Or now, do you plan to plan? Or do you plan not to plan? Or don't you plan to plan? Pag pinabalibaligta dyan, iba-iba ka hulugan. But remember, those who fail to plan, actually have a plan. They plan to fail. We are not here by chance, therefore do not live by chance. There is a purpose while you are alive. Accomplish that purpose to glorify God. And remember in planning, it must either be clearly along God's ways, or at least clearly not contradictory to God's ways, then we are off for a good start. And in every planning, God has the final say. Shall we be alone with God for some time and submit to Him the plans for our physical life, for our intellectual life, our material life, emotional life, and above all, spiritual life? Plan. Let the Lord speak to us. And then after this, in the right time, and I hope very soon, sit down and plan. Let's be alone with God and submit to Him our hearts and our minds. As sa mga magsasabi niyo, Lord, I want to have a plan and I want you to be the master planner. I want to submit my plan to you, O Lord. Let us plan together, but I need your guidance. And to those who seek the Lord's guidance and blessing, rise where you are, I'll pray for you. You say, Lord, I want to plan. I don't want to plan on my own. Gusto ko magplano, Panginoon, pero kayo pong magplano para sa akin. Aming Ama, Aming Diyos, sa katayo po sa inyong harapan ng inyong mga anak, tinatanggap ang pagkukulang namin lahat sa pagpaplano. Tinatanggap na liban sa inyong tulong, liban sa inyong karunungan, hindi po namin kayang magplano. Kaya, Panginoon, right now, we ask for the Holy Spirit. 
Bayaan niyo po ang inyong banal na espiritu ang lumukob sa aming lahat. Mangusap sa amin. Biyayaan niyo po kami ng karunungan upang makapagplano na sangayon sa inyong kalooban. At sa lalong madaling panahon, O oh Lord, give us the private time to plot out the year and the months, the weeks and the days, so that we will also know how to number our days. In Christ's name we praise you and thank you. Amen. Ang katatapos pong ikalawa at huling bahagi ng mensahe ni Pastor Ed Lapiz ay pinamagatang Lack of Godly Planning <laughs> 